have just seen the simulated launch of United States Triad forces. However, in the event of a real attack, without the warning provided by units of Aerospace Defense Command, these Triad forces may never get off the ground. This warning we call Triad Plus One. More than 3,000 men and women of 14th Arrow, stationed worldwide, work in many space-related missions. Their main mission is to warn the Commander-in-Chief North American Air Defense Command of any missile attack against the North American continent. Warning provided by 14th Arrow's worldwide network of sensors denies the enemy the element of surprise. Our mission is to detect, track, and warn. I hope that this film will increase your understanding of the vital responsibility charged the 14th Arrow Space Force in the defense of the United States. This film is an introduction to the space and missile warning missions of ADC. The hub of the worldwide network of sensors is located in NORAD Cheyenne Mountain Complex and is operated by the 1st Aerospace Control Squadron. Colonel Barney Sikowski, commander of 1st Arrow, will conduct you on a tour of Cheyenne Mountain. General Moore stated, the 1st Aerospace Control Squadron serves as the hub for all of the 14th Aerospace Force space and missile surveillance systems. Our unit consists of officers, airmen, and civilians. They're all very skilled. They act as space operations officers, orbital analysts, computer programmers, and computer operators. And we do have some administrative technicians. We are responsible for satisfying the needs of the National Military Command Center at Washington, D.C., the NORAD command post here in the Cheyenne Mountain Complex, and the Strategic Air Command, as well as other unified and specified commanders. We're now approaching the gate to the NORAD Cheyenne Mountain Complex. Good morning. Our job in a nutshell, is to provide early and tactical warning of a missile attack against the North American continent to the National Military Command Center, to the North American Air Defense Command Center, the Strategic Air Command, Command Post, and other unified and specified commands. Ballistic missiles pose a serious threat because they can travel several hundreds of miles in a minute. And if our strategic triad is to be effective, it must have as much warning as possible. The worldwide system of sensors operated by the 14th Aerospace Force surveys the aerospace over Russia and China. And if missiles are launched, they provide us with the information we need to furnish warning. These sensors detect the missile launches and report to us here in the Cheyenne Mountain Complex. It's then our job to determine if an actual attack has been launched. The blast door through which we are now entering is one of a pair that provide some of the security for this complex. Together, they weigh more than 100,000 pounds. Yet each of these 25-ton doors can be cycled shut in about 30 seconds. 
The Cheyenne Mountain Complex houses several defense-related centers. Our visit will take us to the launch correlation and missile warning facilities. We believe that warning is the foundation on which the triad rests. We also believe that the nuclear powers are well aware of our capability to provide warning, thus deterring nuclear war. In the warning business, we are concerned not only with missiles, but with satellites. Numerous satellites have been placed into orbit with scientific and technological capabilities with military overtones. Therefore, to be sure that the United States is not surprised, we constantly monitor those satellites and predict their projected position. This is the Launch Correlation Unit, the LCU. In this room, we watch over the scheduled missile launches as well as some unique space events. This unit was formed in support of the Accident Measures Agreement, which was signed between the United States and the Soviet Union. That agreement specifies the actions each nation would take to avert the risk of nuclear war. The first article of the agreement says that each country undertakes to notify the other immediately in the event of an accidental unauthorized, or any other unexplained incident involving a possible detonation of a nuclear weapon which could create a risk of outbreak of nuclear war. Another article requires that each country notify the other in the event of a scheduled missile launch which might go in the direction of that country. On occasion, a missile launch might go astray If it does, we have the facilities to contact the National Military Command Center. If the Soviet Union were to inquire about an unexplained incident or an apparent threat, the National Military Command Center would need all information which might assist in explaining the situation. For domestic missile launches from the Eastern Test Range or the Western Test Range, we are concerned with any deviation which might cause the missile to take a flight path toward the Soviet Union. Using trajectory and performance data, LCU officers are able to predict various deviations from the planned flight path. This detailed information is printed out by our computers to show the amount of deviation at any given time in the flight. We are also concerned with space launches. This is an illustration of a polar satellite launch from Vandenberg Air Force Base. It shows that the satellite will pass over the Soviet Union on its first revolution. If the vehicle fails to achieve proper orbit, it could impact in Soviet territory. In such a case, the LCU tasks available NORAD sensors and requests support from sensors of other agencies in tracking the object. Any indication that the vehicle has failed to achieve orbit will be immediately passed to the National Military Command Center. A third area of concern is space events such as the ones listed here. The Space Defense Center normally detects events such as these. When the Space Defense Center discovers an event which may come under the provisions of the Accident Measures Agreement. The LCU becomes very active. Working closely with the Space Defense Center, we are able to furnish the National Military Command Center with all available information on such events. While the Launch Correlation Unit reports missile deviations and satellite incidents to the National Military Command Center, the missile warning center in which we are now standing is responsible for determining whether or not a missile attack has been launched against the North American continent. 
great information comes from satellite-borne sensors over the horizon radar, ballistic missile early warning, and sea launch ballistic missile sites throughout the world. Initial warning of an ICBM or SLBM raid comes from our newest satellite surveillance system. These satellites are in stationary orbit above the Earth. They provide almost immediate warning of a missile raid. The 440L over the horizon radar system will detect missiles launched from the Eurasian landmass. The over the horizon radar system can detect missiles launched from the Eurasian landmass. Transmitters reflect their energy off the ionosphere. A missile passing through the ionosphere after launch creates a disturbance which can be detected by this system. The over-the-horizon radar differs from conventional radar in that its transmitter and receiver are not located at the same site, and it is not limited to line of sight. Confirmation of a ballistic missile raid, if it were launched over the North Pole, would come from the ballistic missile early warning system, BMUs. The BMU sites are located at Clear Alaska, Thule, Greenland, and Filingdales Moor, England. To provide warning of a sea-launched ballistic missile attack, our SLBM sites on the east and west coasts and along the Gulf of Mexico would transmit data to this missile warning center. Information arriving from these warning systems would immediately be used to alert the NORAD command post, the Strategic Air Command post, and the National Military Command Center of a ballistic missile attack against North America. In summary, the Missile Warning Center, the Space Defense Center, and the Launch Correlation Unit, operated by the 1st Aerospace Control Squadron here in the Cheyenne Mountain Complex, enhanced the deterrent posture of the United States. The warning we provide should permit our national command authorities and the strategic offensive triad to react in the most effective way possible. We hope that this short tour through a portion of the Cheyenne Mountain Complex has given you an appreciation for the importance of our missile warning functions as part of the triad plus one.